What changed here? Because the Secretary of State testified at his confirmation hearing, quote, I am determined to stop the Nord Stream 2 because Russia is trying to divide Europe and weaken European energy security. What changed? I think it's just looking at it all globally. Um, by allowing this, without a doubt, it allows this administration to get closer to entering back into the Iran agreement, which I think would be absolutely devastating. This administration says one thing, does the other. It's been very consistent in every process that they've been involved in, whether it's spending, whether it's taxing. Now we're seeing it on the world stage in national security issues. So you're saying this is a prelude, a prelude to getting back into the Iran deal. Is that, it's a With, setup for that. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Without a doubt, it's definitely allowing the Russians to have a greater influence within Europe. And this is a way that the administration can start pushing it. And also, this administration, anything that Donald Trump was for or opposed, they are the complete opposite. And that's exactly what we saw with what's created the border crisis. They're now doing it with, with the national security. And so... <laughs> The fact that Biden, uh, the fact that President Trump put sanctions okay. in regards to this, now they're now moving it. All right, we had the Energy Secretary, Jennifer Granholm, testifying today. She tried to walk back her comment that, quote, pipe is the best way to transport fuel. Watch this testy and fiery exchange on Capitol Hill today. Watch. Madam Secretary. Did, did the administration cancel the pipeline because of politics? Because it was clearly not for climate benefits, because it's going to increase climate. It's going to increase carbon emissions. No, it, it canceled. I mean, the president made this commitment um, because he believed that there are other ways to go, especially in promoting clean energy and okay. cheap energy. Uh, but, you said that pipe, but you said that pipe is the cleanest way the safest way to move fuel. Colonial is the only way to be able to get gasoline from one place to another along that seaboard because there aren't deep water ports to be able to allow tankers. So this sort of feels confusing, right? I mean, we had the DHS secretary also defending pipelines as critical infrastructure. Is it is are we wrong? Is this confusing? So what's going on here? Liz, they don't pay attention to facts. They're not consistent. The fact that the secretary said one thing about the cleanest, best way to, to move, move fuel is through a pipeline and she's denying it there. You know, what I have a lot of concerns with is we're where this, this secretary, in fact, stood in front of the world last week and said, you know what, we wouldn't have a gas crisis if people drove more electric cars. But guess what? This same secretary has millions of dollars in stock options to electric car batteries and electric car vehicles. That's an un unacceptable. Yeah. Uh, it's, this administration's all about rewarding their friends, their political allies, their donors, mm -hmm. and this is okay. just consistent.